I came to America straight out of Africa. I had a mission and I had a vision. So I formed the team to chase my dream. All night, just to listen to this man talk, he is a very cool person and one of my new friends. So please welcome from the star of Ozio Bio presents the African Extravaganza, Ozio Bio. How are you? Tell us how it is that you got where you're sitting right now. I mean, well, um, from Nigeria. Yeah. The yeah, story of Ozzy in six minutes. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's a very long story, but uh, I'm going to give you the highlights <laughs> of the right, whole story. Right. I came to the United States of America January 23rd, 2000, which also happened to be my 15th birthday. I came here with, uh, with my family. We stopped in Detroit, then from Detroit we came here to, uh, to Dallas. Then from Dallas, I stayed in Arlington for two years, went to high school there before coming over to here to UT. So, you, you, you know, you came down here, you've got your show, how did you get it? What was it you did? Oh, uh, first, uh, I mean, I came to UT and I knew the, the, African, the African community was very underrepresented. They were, we didn't have much uh, influence on the media. And, I think um, the last time I saw anything African was Roots. Don't get me, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> yeah, so you, you see what I'm saying? So it was hard, it was hard, you know, I, I felt like something had to be done. I felt like, uh, you know, some, the African needs a voice and what better person than me, you know. I felt like somebody had to do it, why not me? Why not? So I went to the station and pitched the idea to them, told them that they need a, an all African show, just African music. Mm -hmm. They, lo they loved the idea, you know, they were very welcoming, so which was very encouraging for me too. And I had access to all this African music that I wanted to share with uh, a lot of your listeners. This is your bio. If you got a request, definitely call in right now, the number 495-5879. Give you a Rex. Yes, sir, this is the African Extravaganza, man. You got a request? Femi Kuti, you want to hear some Femi Kuti, man? My next goal was to start an African TV show that celebrates and teaches people about the African culture. Afro Fantastic TV. Afro Fantastic TV. Afro Fantastic TV. Afro Fantastic TV. <laughs> What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word Africa? Okay, Africa. Lots of different words come to mind. You think of, you know, war, mm -hmm. a lot of times poverty, AIDS, disease, just a lot of civil unrest, a lot of social unrest. Well, I think about, you know, the safari with lions and, you know, the desert. And then I also think about, you know, Egypt. <laughs> and then, you know, the Nile River. Right. And also, I guess, like, disease. I think about AIDS mm -hmm. and poverty mm -hmm. and jungle. Actually, one of, the, one of the few things I think about is, like, the, like the land, like how it's not, not developed like a lot of the land in the United States. Yeah. It's coming to America. Come on. You got Eddie Murphy. You got, <laughs> you got Darth Vader with the big lion rap. You know, James Earl Jones. Right. That's what I think about. The big old lion rap right over there. That just, that's Africa right there. Definitely, man. definitely. And what I find out is that people have several misconceptions about Africa because no one has ever made them care. The purpose of this show is to make people care a little bit and hopefully this will change some misconceptions. This particular song she's gonna hear is Magic System, Gaua. This song makes everybody wants to dance in Africa. So uh, let's see what Grace, All right. let's see what you got. No, it's, it's good music, yeah, I like it. Uh, if, if I was African and could dance like I saw you doing, mm -hmm. I would do it, man. Oh, but really I would just you... embarrass myself. African music is very, it's all about your body. You know, you have to get all your whole body into it. Do your show to somehow, you know. I can't do it, man. Yeah, you're getting it. <laughs> you're getting it. You're getting it. Then where do I go? Uh, yeah, you can get, they, they add your own style to it. Give me like a little bit of alcohol, maybe. <laughs> My hey, shirt coming out. <laughs> where's the alcohol, man? I know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jerry Tasfai. I am from Eritrea, and today we're going to cook some Eritrean food. It's called this. After cutting the onions and putting it in the pan, 
you add butter in it. The next step is to cut the tomatoes. The onions, they're, they look pretty uh, cooked. So I'm going to remove it from the stove and talk about this, the next step, which is to add um, the spice, it's called barbare, and mix it together. As you can see, it's really, really red and it looks spicy and it's really, really good. All right, now I'm going to turn down the heat and put it in low so I can cut the meat and put the meat in there. As you can see, I'm pretty good at this, so I'm going fast. Okay, now we're ready to open it up. Voila! Well, when I think of Africa, I think of like, I guess my homeland. You know, I think of culture, I think of beautiful black people. My favorite Nigerian food is uh, red beans with rice, with some catfish, with some Louisiana hot sauce, um, jello fries, fried chicken. Jello fries with fried chicken. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Hold it down for my man Ozio Bio. Why? Cuz, man, he got his own TV show. He from Africa, you can tell by his character, but the plan is to take over UT and then America. Chia. I definitely feel blessed to be given such an opportunity like this to be something I call a positive voice of Africa in America. I'm sharing my culture with people and people are interested in learning about my culture, which is very encouraging. And most importantly, my family and especially my mom is proud of what I'm doing. Now that's keeping it up for fantastic. The best women are from Africa. Yes, sir. You can do this, you know, you can do that, you know. Oh, man, yeah. he's too good, he's too good. Nah, man, I just, you know, I, it's natural. What can I say? It's natural, you know, I'm African. It's in my blood, it's in my blood, man. Uh, I had such a good time doing this show. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did watching the show there in your living room, wherever you are. Why do they, why do I care where, where they're watching the show from? <laughs> Black is beautiful. Black is Afro-fantastic. Black is beautiful. Black is Afro-fantastic.